Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. So we're looking at the new Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader from wave three of this uh, collection, the 40th anniversary collection uh, for Empire Strikes Back. You can see the rest of the figures in the wave. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Uh, Boba Fett, Snow Trooper, Chewbacca, and Dagobah Luke on his own, which we just reviewed the two packs. So, um, big thanks goes out to goodiestoys.com.au. Um, he uh, grabbed one for me, um, so I was very excited to grab this figure. I, I do have the regular release um, on pre order, but I might leave that one boxed. Um, but you can never have too many Vaders, and Hasbro knows it. So, I'm going to be opening this one up, and uh, we'll get a close look. Alright, so here is Vader from Empire Strikes Back, out of the package packet, and I was going to say, I think they finally nailed it. Um, it's taken a few Vaders uh, over the years to really get it right. I still feel like the scale could be a little bit off, but that's just me. Um, the first Vader we got with the removable helmet that showed Anakin underneath the helmet was just way off. Uh, the New Hope version, which was pretty darn good, uh, that came out a few years ago now, which is still still really good. Um, it's just not my favourite version of Vader. Whereas this, I feel like they've just got the helmet right. Uh, the articulation's fantastic. The whole top half of the figure is being is completely new. Um, as far as I can tell. Uh, the legs are still the original legs, um, which isn't a problem. They've been fine. There's been nothing wrong with them. Um, but yeah, it's just elements of the rest of the figure that they just haven't quite nailed because they've been going for something different with each one. Now, I've always felt Vader is a little too short for this scale, but I just stood this Dagobah Luke next to him, and I think it works. I think it really works. Um, so we'll get a close-up look at his helmet. Is it, uh, that is where the... Uh, so it's got the... seem to have got the angles right. Just got that sort of the brow of the helmet is just sort of hitting those right angles to give him that sort of fiercer look. They're still hitting those edges with the grey like they did with the film prop. Um, just so it didn't lose all the black in the camera. So they uh, painted up the cheek plate grey. Uh, that sort of snout plate there where my th thumbnail is grey. And I think the top of top of that cheek there was grey but you could barely tell looking at it it's just the way the light catches it and uh, underneath is grey as well it's just the way the light has the light catches it on film um, which funnily enough is working the same way here so it's pretty damn good um, new sculpting up here for the chest plate that looks great he has pretty sure he has the new butterfly joints inside so it allows for a lot of extra movement cape sits well holds the lightsaber well uh, this appears to be the same lightsaber that they used previously so they haven't updated the lightsaber yet but in this instance it works um, just the fact that they reused that for the episode 2 Anakin really didn't work at all. Um, so his elbows now get these awesome angles. Fantastic. So yeah, same legs there. Still got the pin joints. Pretty sure they're new. They could be. Uh, pretty sure they're used. They could be new. Um... Too lazy to check, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm showing you the figure that it is. But yeah, I'm just really digging the look of this Vader. Um, it's almost tempting to get the carbonized blue one now, honestly. Um, 
just for something different for my, if not just for my Vader shelf um, but yeah I'm really liking this Vader a lot um, I managed to have him holding the lightsaber with two hands which he hasn't been able to do very well in the past but you should be able to get some pretty dynamic poses with this Vader now um, yeah I'm, I'm really impressed a great bunch of figures coming out at the moment and, uh, yeah this is one I've been very much looking forward to really really keeping my fingers crossed that they can uh, finally nail a Vader and I feel like they have in this instance looks good so a little bit of a little bit of green paint there stuck on the belt but that's okay it's behind the cape so who cares it's a nice Vader let me know what you think in the comments below drop any feedback or anything you want that would be cool until next time may the force be with you